Hello and welcome to Cicada Civics History. The play Julius Caesar, written by Shakespeare, is a theatrical text revolving around the life of Julius Caesar. The text was based on history, but who really was Julius Caesar? Today, we're going to explore the real story and life of Caesar, fact by facts. Julius Caesar was a person who, out of his place in society at the time, wanted to become a senior politician, as it was a rich role where one had lots of money and lots of power. He did several things in his life, including becoming a high-ranking soldier, being a politician, and almost becoming a dictator. Some of his most important achievements included conquering Gaul, crushing numerous rebellions, and raiding Britain. History has remembered him in numerous ways, depending upon what it was that they were remembering him for. For example, he is well remembered for conquering Gaul in a positive way, but in a more negative way for how he almost became a dictator. The representation of Caesar in this play is probably different. He is rude and acts like a dictator, even if he isn't one. The play even views him as a person who doesn't want to take power, although he didn't make any serious attempts to take power. His stabbing in real life is also a lot more brutal than in the play, and he is not convinced by them to go to the Senate in the first place, with them being conspirators. This renders that scene in the play almost false, although he was killed. In real life, he would have also been a kinder person. He adopted a child, Augustus or Octavius Caesar, though it isn't clear according to multiple sources, and he cared deeply for the Roman people. As a person who had an entire government under his rule, he introduced wide, sweeping changes that benefited all of Rome, but especially him. This made him the target of the assassination plot, resulting in his death at the hands of one of his best friends, Brutus. Caesar was also a person who made friends with his enemies after he had conquered them. He was fine with them holding a position of low power underneath him, as that meant that they did not have to argue or go to war as why one of them was not represented. He was also a great negotiator during his time. He helped two of his political allies to become allies themselves with each other, despite them disliking each other because of previous political reasons. He also had to negotiate his way out of pirates holding him ransom. He made them raise his own ransom, resulting him in being able to continue his career. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and make sure you consider subscribing to Cicada Civics.